Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so it kind of turns out this is our uh, time sensitive Genesis pulls, because, you know, there's Genesis pulls, so they're one and done. Uh, I would really have liked to take today off, but uh, because today is kind of, let's see, two Genesis pulls, and then I'm going to do a Titano Finance Revisited video. So I'm thinking I could, these should be three kind of quick videos. So, you know, plus it'd be kind of nice to revisit Titano too, so. Anyway, uh, so hopefully uh, everything's doing better in the markets because we had some crazy FUD, right? The Joe Biden executive order came out, which basically did nothing with cryptocurrencies. But still, for some weird reason, I, you know, hear conflicting reports. Uh, Anthony Pompileo himself said, yeah, this looks good. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong. At least he didn't address directly the... Uh, a Pompliano Twitter. Actually, I should probably check this. Okay, inflation. Some point the only is out of control. Gas prices, inflation. I'm just trying to see if he tweeted anything about the executive order. Bitcoin solution. Okay, China mining ban. What they're still doing that he discusses the Biden executive order. Yeah, I mean he hasn't really said anything. <clears throat> yeah, he hasn't really said anything, but he hasn't come out against it either. I mean he kind of just basically says the statements by like the U.S. Treasury or whatever says they want America to be the leader in cryptocurrencies. Yeah, so for the most part, it's like what I originally reported, but was pretty paranoid that it was more than just a nothing burger. Like it was like. BS in disguise, right? Because obviously we don't trust the government, or at least I don't. Uh, but for whatever reason, it pretty much was pretty tame, right? What I wanted, and then crypto immediately dropped. <laughs> so I, I don't really know what's going on, but you know, there's a kind of slight fear trade going on anyway in the markets. Not too bad, right? You know, so it's like whatever. I, I guess just normal market jitters. Like people are just so. It's like Greg Manorian always says, right? The market is like a demented child. So right now, they're just having another demented child moment, I guess. You know, gamer moment, right? For, for, for you Zoomers out there. Yeah. I, I had my fear. I don't know. I never really had gamer moments in my past. Well, it's not that I can think of. All right. So anyway, I thought I would do a quick video on the rare-er with an R at the end. Uh, Genesis pool. Now, technically, I should have done this like right when it launched, but eh, you know, I wanted to take a break. There was already a lot going on, and you know, I wanted to manage my positions and, of course, try to relax. So right now, it's it's uh, because ultimately, there this is kind of like a pseudo layer two. It's really a parallel layer. It has nothing really to do with rare and R shares. It's going to be its own little thing, but it's still be hosted on the uh, you know, rarefinance.biz website, and of course, you know, you got your your, our favorite little Pepegas over here, you know. So it's pegged. So this is the base token that's in Genesis Pool right now. And, you know, you could have your choice of whatever it is you want to use. So ideally, you would want to be using uh, the rare... Er, you want to use the rare token or even the R shares if you want. Or you can actually just LP it right now and then just do this. In fact, I didn't actually realize that this was already in existence. There's already uh, almost 560 grand. It pays a crazy APR. Uh, hmm. Maybe I should actually do this pool. I didn't actually. First of all, I didn't actually realize that this was still. I did, I did not realize that this was here. And number two, this is a crazy APR. Oh, it never ends. It never ends, chat. Um, I'm going to have to think about this, actually. Crap. I I, <laughs> I thought this was just going to be something that I would just cover, and then I would just walk away, but uh, I, I guess not. All right, so you pretty much have your pick of, like, a million different pools for the Genesis, all right? And these pools will end tomorrow. I also don't... Oh. There is a 1% deposit fee. Oh, yeah. So the deposit fee is 1%. So do keep that in mind. So in my case, well, I'm obviously going to, well, I would have ultimately do the, well, for me, because obviously I like farming the base token liquidity pairs. So obviously I'm probably just going to have to go in the open market, buy like one rare token. Wait, no. I want to buy one 
rarer token, which is a little under 23 bucks. So this thing is already, this thing is like 22 point, this thing is above peg by like 23 or 22 X. So just keep that in mind. All right, so this is obviously very way over peg, but it'll probably stay this way at least until the uh, rarest shares, shares, which are not released yet because that's coming uh, this Saturday. I think um, <clears throat> it should be this Saturday or it might come out tomorrow. I'm not actually sure because, yeah, because I think it's going to really, I'm going to have to check the Discord, but I think it comes out right after this. So, <sighs> whatchamacallit. So, yeah, but this will, this should still be uh, pretty far above peg, at least until like the first few epochs. And then when the epochs of the boardroom, right, which I think is called the print room, start printing more rarer tokens then you know the price will go down like it's supposed to and then everything will normalize now because obviously brando is actually part of the advisement team for rare business rare finance business we probably don't have to worry about the smart apr system because that's already in play here right because this this whole thing was designed that way it just sucks that because we're tied to two essentially that everything's just getting dragged down right Rare Finance is still doing much better than everyone else, but it still kind of sucks because, you know, the, 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 I mean, everything's just getting dragged down because Phantom is shit, you know, unfortunately. Yeah, it's $1.24. So, I don't know, whenever Phantom gets their crap together, and eventually it will, you know, because, like, there's some FUD going around that maybe the entire Phantom Foundation was a scam. Right, but people always blow things out of proportion, and I certainly hope that's the case, right? You know that well, not the case that's a whole scam, but you know that you know it's blown out of proportion, right? So again, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll let things shake out, Phantom, and everyone is getting kind of annoyed with Phantom anyway. So you know, hopefully, I'll that will mean I'll be seeing more Binance Smart Chain Tomb forks and Avax Smart Chain uh, Avax Tomb forks. So, because I actually am observing something called SkullFinance.net. So, it's a very quiet launch. It's only 170,000 TVL. It's still in Genesis until, I think, tomorrow. So, again, you know, it hasn't rug pulled yet. So, I'm still waiting on that. And, of course, we got all these Genesis pools going on. Snowy Owl, Zombie Finance. And then their liquidity, liquidity pools will go live. Because I actually checked my Yield Wolf. I actually noticed that I'm only in Grave, which I'm planning to leave because I want to know what Zombie Finance is going to do if they do Smart APR system. And then I'm back in Snowy Owl by a smaller amount because it actually, it turns out that because Caesar Finance obviously pays a smaller eight daily APR, my daily income actually went down. It's like, oh yeah, so I should go back to Snowy Owl, right? So... You know, and it's coming on. It's, it's, it's coming back up too, despite everything else being down. So I kind of like that because I don't mind paying a little more for a project if I know that it's you know being bought up. Believe it or not, you know, because that's an indicator of actual strength. So, so anyway, you can take your pick here. Uh, but if I were, if I'm personally doing this, I mean, I'm gonna have to wait till tonight when I take profits from my Phantom blockchain tube forks. I'll probably do this. However. I don't know. I mean, do I? I was originally planning to just let this go and then just simply wait for Yield Wolf and then go into rarer USDLP when, you know, this this thing inevitably you know tanks because obviously you can't maintain this peg. This this peg is actually way too high, obviously, and we all know what's going to happen, right? You know, epoch number two, three, and four, it'll print a lot of the base token and everyone's going to dump it, right? So the price is going to crash. So it's like, you know, maybe I'll wait it out. I mean, the daily APR is juicy, but, you know, it technically could take me three to four days anyway to recoup my original investment. But that's like, what, three to four days, that's 12 to 16 epochs, right? So, I mean, I'm not going to be able to beat that. So I think maybe what I should do is I probably should let this go. I should stick with the plan because I can easily tell that Satan right now is trying to mess with me. Like, I've been having a lot of trouble getting God to help, you know, well, not help, but God can only do this. Kill my ego, right? Because as long as my ego, and we all have one, you know, you and I have one. As long as we have that ego, Satan's your daddy, right? Like Jesse Lee Peterson says. Satan is just going to, like, completely screw you up just to make you kill yourself in the end. So, you know, you don't, I don't want that, all right? You know, because, like, he'll deliberately 
tell you every single wrong thing to do, whether it's a good feeling, a bad feeling, or whatever, right? And then you just lose all your money. So, you know, it's like, yeah. Like, I actually understand why now God wants me to actually do absolutely nothing. Because now that I'm actually looking at myself, I can really see, wow, I got all this crazy darkness in me. It's like, wow, I'm actually glad I'm not doing much stuff because, you know, I gotta, you know, I gotta let God fix all my problems, right? Because you can't do anything about yourself, right? Only God can do that. It's either God or Satan, right? Like JLP always says, of yourself, you know nothing, and of yourself, you can't do anything. So why are you trying, right? So anyway, so check this out uh, if you're going to do the Genesis pool. Uh, the safest way to do the Genesis, I forgot to mention that, obviously, could be uh, Wrapped Phantom. Again, I don't know why wrapped. Well, actually, I do know why. Uh, yeah, but you know, I usually can't, I usually can't stand doing wrapped tokens. They always annoy me, all right? Because extra click, extra click, and then you have dust all over the place with your tokens. So you can also do, just do pure USDC, especially at a time like right now where it's so volatile. It's kind of nice just to have a dollar, right? Of course. That being said, I actually got the feeling that you know crypto and markets were going to go up, right? Especially towards the end of the hour, because that's what rich people always do. They always manipulate the markets. Yeah, they're already trying to buy up as much as they can already. So I think tomorrow might actually be an up day, right? Because Greg Manorio said that when the 10-year yield settles above 2%, and it's very close, 1.99, it was actually at 2% earlier, yeah, the market is going to go much higher, and that should pull up cryptocurrencies as well. So that's something uh, uh, you I know, look forward to tonight and definitely tomorrow. <clears throat> so with that being said, obviously, you want something risk-free, you just do USDC, right? Otherwise, you could just do rare and R share single staking and get your rare that way. You still get a pretty good APR. If you just buy rare right now, especially at the price it is right now, which is, I think, $2. Uh, yeah, $2.31. You pretty much don't have to worry about a permanent loss. Now you can just buy a, like a bajillion rare tokens, right? And then just basically single stake it and get yourself a bunch of rare tokens, right? And then decide what you want to do with it. So... Uh, you know, that might not be such a bad idea. I just go and buy a bunch of rare tokens. Yeah, but I mean, I, 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 I'm, unfortunately, I'm doing this video so late that, you know, I basically have, what, 28 hours to farm the Genesis. So whatever, I'll just, I'll just let it go. Oh, I gotta admit, this is really nice. Plus, my Yield Wolf for rare-based LP is actually between 15 to 20% anyway, right? So it's not like I'm missing out on that much. Uh, yeah. And of course, here's the chart, but again, they're, they're like this, it just got started, so. Oh, and one other thing, the reason why there's a rare -er USD LP, which is going to be the actual base token LP, is because, uh, I forget what Dory, no, Nori, no, Nomi said, uh, yeah, they just want to make sure that, like, actually, I kind of forgot what they said completely, because there's so much crap going on that, you know, my brain just can't hold on to all the info. But basically, it was for stability reasons. They just don't want, like, crazy whales or other super predator types, right? Because that, that's my favorite term now, to describe these malicious whales. They just don't want the super predators to, like, you know, do something bad to the project. I, I remember it made a lot of sense. I just don't remember what it was. So that's why that thing, this thing is here. So, you know, it's also pretty convenient for you, too. So... But I definitely will get into this, right, when, you know, this thing settles down, right, the price is reasonable, and, of course, is on Yield Wolf. I have to have this thing on Yield Wolf, because, I mean, I'm, I might be willing to do manual, right, uh, but I'm actually pretty confident that they can get this on uh, Yield Wolf pretty quickly, like, probably within, like, 24 hours or 48 hours. But I'm definitely going to just, you know, keep an eye on uh, the Discord, so I'm sure they'll make an announcement or a tweet or something. All right, so like I said, I want to try and keep these videos short because I'm supposed to be on break, right? And because I'm a little physical, like, yeah, because I, I need to relax some more. So the next one is, is Snowy Owl Genesis Pool because Arctic Fox is technically out, the website. And then we got the Titano Finance Revisited. Is it still worth it video? So it'll really be nice to, like, farm some new some of that new Titano uh, user search interest because uh, everything's kind of down a little bit, and Titano took a little bit of a dip. So, good time to, mm. excuse me, 
good time for uh you know to dip into that all right see you next video spread this around and uh yeah thanks for watching and of course you know hug your local uh pepe the frog right or your local pepega all right <laughs> i also just noticed this pepega has a uh, mustache on his uh thing <laughs> that's pretty funny